6.30 in the morning. Give me a minute. plan for today is in about 10 minutes someone's going to come and buy these seats from me because with the brackets that you need to bolt them into the RX-7, they're too tall. They literally rub the roof. Um, I was going to cut up the floor and make them work, but I found a guy in Unionville, which if you're not familiar with Michigan, is right around here. It's about a two and a half, three hour drive. Found him selling some stock. RX-7 seats that we'll just bolt right in, 200 bucks. The guy who wants to buy these is offering 300, so it seems easier just to get the seats that'll bolt right in. So in about 10 minutes, he should be here, and we'll get these seats sold, then we'll hit the road. All right, the energy seats are sold. Kind of bittersweet, but got 300 bucks for them. Paid 400. Kind of sucks. Um, but my dad's not feeling well. I was going to try and con him into driving to Unionville and back. Like I said, about, about a three-hour trip with the weather. But he's not feeling well, so instead I'm going to make the trip alone. As much as I would like to take the gold truck or whatever color truck you guys think it is, it looks kind of gold to me. Um, as much as I'd like to take the Sierra, I'm probably just going to steal the wife's Focus ST because that thing gets like... 26, 27 miles a gallon if you drive it right. And the truck gets about 12. So, so let's hit the road. All right, I lied, we are taking the truck. My dad decided he wanted to go. I offered to drive the uh, Focus ST. He paused, thought about it, and then was like, I can't smoke in the car, we'll take the truck. So, here we are. Still trying to dig his way out. The fuck is way down here. Oh, the size. Wow. At like 50 miles an hour, and all of a sudden the speedometer jumps to 70. I'm not a man. 
All right, got the seats, got them loaded up in the truck. I'm just gonna bomb back home now. Three hours later, we're back at the garage. Just got here. My back hurts, but we got the seats. Alright, now that I'm nice and warm, you can get a little bit better look at the seat. It's actually in, it's actually in really good shape. There aren't any tears or anything anywhere. Um, all the sliders, as you can see, work just fine. The only issue is that it's burgundy instead of brown or black, but that's it's really not that big of a deal. Hopefully they still fit in the car because I did start to hammer the floor pan a little bit to try to make room for those NRG seats. It should still be fine. So I'm going to bolt that seat together. That's the driver's side so it's easier to see in the car here. And then that's probably going to do it for today's video. I don't know how long it's going to be and I don't want it to be too long. Just another video about seats. So let's get to it. Finally got the seats all bolted back together. Well, the driver's side at least. And they fit in there perfectly, almost like they're made for the car. And uh, the driver's side, I'll be able to bolt right down. The passenger side, I did fuck up a couple of the mounts, just the inside too, but they'll be pretty simple to fix. The front, I just need to weld a bolt to the floor. That's pretty much how it was. The back was like a little tunnel deal that I'll be able to patch back together and it'll be fine. But they fit perfect. They look awesome. I just noticed that they're two different seats. Maybe that's why he had one wrapped up so I wouldn't notice that. But that's not too big a deal, honestly. But they fit awesome. We finally have some seats for the car that will work. And uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, like I said, I don't know how long it's gonna be and I don't want it to be too long because it's just, it's just a getting a seat video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, you really should. And uh, yeah, I think the next video will probably be back to work on the truck. I've got a few things to fix on that. And uh, see you guys then.